Hey guys, I'm Rob Richards, and on today's video for supplementsworld.com, I'll be having a look at a few variations of the front bar raise. Now, for more information on shoulder workouts and many other exercises, you can check out my full article and training videos at supplementsworld.com. Let's start with the front bar raise, and in particular, the anterior deltoid. It's a relatively small muscle group focused towards the front section of the shoulder, and it actually gets worked a lot more than you might think. Practically with all chest movements, a lot of bicep exercises, and in most of the shoulder presses, you're involving a heavy amount of anterior deltoid. So why do you really need to train the anterior deltoid? Well, even though it does get trained a lot in many of these other exercises, they're not training that anterior deltoid the way that it should function. So by adding in just one or two exercises, specifically targeting that front deltoid within a shoulder workout, is a great way to maintain overall shoulder health and ensure that you've got a healthy balance between front, lateral, and the back, the posterior deltoids. For this, you can't do much better than a front bar raise, but there are a few variations on this, particularly by performing this as an isolated exercise, one arm at a time. And without going too heavy, find a way that you can comfortably manage eight, 10, or even 12, 15 reps, either single arm or both arms at the same time. Now you'll see in this particular example, I'm keeping my hands facing each other in a neutral position. And as I raise the arm up, rotating my hand inwards so my knuckles are up. So you don't need to go all the way up, simply just raise their arm and the weight up to about shoulder level and then resist it back down. Now, whether you bring the arms back to the side of the body or in front of the body, try not to allow the weight, whether it's a dumbbell or barbell, to touch onto the thighs. Doing this will temporarily relieve tension off of the anterior head, and this is where you want to keep tension on the muscle throughout the entire range of motion. Whilst most people choose to work the front part of their shoulder muscle with either a front bar raise or dumbbells, don't forget about cables too. Cables allow a great level of constant tension applied to that muscle throughout the entire range of motion. Therefore, towards the end of the workout of a shoulder routine, because if you're doing shoulder presses, compound movements, overhead presses, and then you want to focus on the lateral, the anterior, the posterior deltoid, you often don't have as much energy and focus left towards the end of the workout. This is where cables come into a world of their own and allow you to train that muscle often through a range of different angles that you can't match with dumbbells. As far as sets and reps go, probably no more than two different exercises, two or three sets at most per exercise. And for reps, even though the anterior does get worked often, I like to train these upwards of 12 to 15 reps, employing a number of different training techniques, including drop sets, tri-sets, supersets, and also some isometric exercises, holding the arms up at the top, creating as much tension in that muscle as I can. All said and done, anterior muscle does need to get trained, although just be aware that it does get worked a lot, like I said, in many of the other exercises such as chest and arm. So if you are training it, maybe move it towards the end of your shoulder session after you've hit most of the overhead presses and the lateral and the rear delt. That way you can be sure to maintain great symmetry between the front and the back, as well as just overall shoulder development as far as mass and strength goes. For more information on shoulder training and many other muscle groups, you can check all of these out and my articles at supplementsworld.com. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our new training and nutrition videos. I'm Rob Richards, until next time, take care.